There is time in the external world, which is a clock ticking. But our subjective experiences of time do not match the clock. In common sense, we understand this because it seems like time slows down when we're in car accidents and speeds up when we're with our lovers. It's very critical for researchers to understand that subjective time, our experience of time, is very distinct from external time. It has these properties. First of all, our experience of time is not in real time. It is, for many events, substantially delayed. And experiments like the flash leg experiment show this. It's the case that we don't put together the image of what happened until a while after it happened. Another aspect of time is that if you look at various measures of subjective time, simultaneity, subjective duration, and temporal order judgment, the order that events happened, it turns out that our experiences of time um, and our experiences of these aspects of time do not mesh, do, are not consistent and harmonious with one another. So it's possible for subjective duration judgments to be totally inconsistent with simultaneity judgments and for us to manipulate temporal order. We have ex loads of power over temporal order. If events happen in the order A, B, a good psychophysicist can have the subject experience it as B, A. This is routine and done in, in experiments at multiple labs around the world. Thank you.